Howdy. You're watching Boondocking with Dennis. And now, roll that intro. Hey guys, you're watching Boomdocking with Dennis, formerly Dennis 78382. Having a very uh, enjoyable road trip, going to see some new places today. Uh, a lot of country music history coming up. And uh, you know what you get if you play a country music uh, song backwards? You get back your truck, you get back your dog, and you get back your wife. <laughs> hey guys, just south of Fredericksburg is the Texas Ranger Heritage Center. Um, the building is going to be, once it's completed, behind the bell tower here on the left. There's a uh, outdoor area that's serving as the um, museum right now. The bell tower there is awesome. There's a good view of the bell tower right there. It's gonna be very impressive. That building is going to be vast behind it. There's the little outdoor visitor center. There's a huge Texas Ranger badge right over there. I'm gonna come back once it's completed. And then they have this uh, awesome statue here. Uh, they are life-size, very impressive. The legend, the lore, the law. because there's just so much here that a couple hours wouldn't do either place justice. There it is, folks. There it is. World's first RV. So they got some uh, frontier-style buildings over here. That's really neat. I wish my knees were better. I would love to go check those out. But... Uh, that's for, that's for y'all show-offs that can walk, I think. You know what the cowboy said when his, when his two uh, German Shepherds were having a fight? Get along, little doggies. Get along. Man, this building is just absolutely beautiful. You could do an entire video just on the outside of this place. Look at that. What do you think, guys? John Wayne, Clint Eastwood, Tombstone, <laughs> Texas Ranger Frontier Battalion, 1874 to 1900. That's just awesome. That thing's probably about three and a half feet high at its highest point, maybe. Very cool. Just heading down the road to the next location. Out here in Texas, beautiful. You know what you get if you cross country music and rap, don't you? Crap. That's right. Hey folks, let's go to Lukenbach, Texas. Little town that uh, Waylon Jennings made famous. Well guys, the sign says Lukenbach, Texas Town Loop. And it smells good. It smells real good. It smells like there's going to be some barbecue. Look at that. They got a little stage over here right on the little creek. 
some picnic tables pretty much badass really cool what we got going on we got a little dance hall in there dance for me dance for me dance for me oh this is nice this is pretty cool well there you go right there there you go right there boys Got here. So this is old Lukenbach, Texas, with Whalen and Willie and the boys. We're gonna have to circle around, see some stuff. Well, there it is, guys. Lukenbach, Texas post office. Pretty famous spot. I love it. This has been on my bucket list. This kind of reminds me of Green, Texas. So they got that outdoor stage there. They got the covered stage in the shade back there fire pits, little beer garden there. This is the side of the uh, post office right here. All right, guys, that's the old Luke and Bao Loop. There's a dance hall there where uh, everyone used to jam at. And we got some uh, barbecue and stuff like that there, pretty good. There's the historical marker. There's an app you can download. Texas Historical Markers, it's free. Tell you what every uh, marker in Texas says. You can look it up by area. You can do a search for a particular name or town. It's pretty cool. No beer allowed to be brought on premises. Well guys, I'm just leaving Fredericksburg. And uh, Fredericksburg, I can go back there and spend two days. Uh, it's really nice, kind of a tourist area, but they got a lot of stuff that I would like to see. They got a lot of uh, vineyards, which doesn't really interest me. And uh, they have the, uh, what I would like to go back is, go back and see that Texas Ranger Heritage Museum. And they also have the National Pacific War Museum or Nat uh, National Museum of the Pacific War. And I, I would like to see that. But it's also a lot of shops and just touristy things. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just have to be in the mood for it. And uh, look at that, that's pretty right there. That ain't bad, folks. That's the kind of things I wanna see. The, the mountains and the valleys and the streams and the little towns and the old beat up buildings. And there's nothing wrong with the fancier places, the larger places like Kerrville and um, Fredericksburg. They're awesome. But uh, this trip is about seeing some little towns and uh, making my way north. So uh, it's, a, it's a hundred degrees right now. And remember, I'm boondocking. What is boondocking? Well, that's when an idiot sleeps in his truck without <laughs> electricity or uh, water. And I got water with me and uh, I can charge things in my truck. I have a fan. I got some uh, chill pads. You want to stick in the ice water and you put them over yourself and they cool you off for about six, seven minutes. So that's a help. The thing is, the humidity here compared to Rockport along the coast, uh, the humidity here is in the 20s today. In Rockport, it's in the high 80s. So in the morning, just before dawn, there's going to, it's gonna be 20 degrees cooler here, heat index wise, than Rockport, Texas. 
But why do you live there? Because I love it. I love the water. I love the ocean. I got friends there. I love the dolphins, the beaches. That's why I live there. Why do, why do you live where you live? <laughs> it's a, but it's so hot there. Breaking news, folks. It's hot in South Texas in the summer. <laughs> I knew that way before I moved here. And I, I'll tell you what, you get in the shade, you get a cold, cold drink, and uh, it's it's not bad. I don't care how hot it is outside. Um, you give me you give me some ice water and, and the shade and a nice little breeze. I'm good. I'm comfortable. What's the old saying? I'm not from Texas, but I got here as quick as I could. Because when I when I see those little streams, those little creeks, those little beat up things. Uh, you see that someone took the time to build a, a stone hedge too, you know? That's freaking awesome. Look at that old Sinclair sign, guys. That is just awesome. That is just awesome. Yeah, there's no place to stop here, guys, and there's traffic behind me. Or That is the one thing. I'll see these beautiful sights, and there's no place to pull over. Well, I can, but I'll be risking my life and everyone that drives by. I mean, after all, I got a YouTube channel. Hey, guys. I uh, wanted to thank Linda for uh, sending me a nice gift through my uh, PayPal account. Thank you, Linda. Uh, all my contact information is in the description, uh, email, all that stuff. And uh, Linda also sent me some jokes in the email. So uh, if you don't like this one, it's all Linda's fault. Um, dad says, uh, to his little girls, what do you want out of life, honey? And one little girl says, I want to be a ballerina. Second little girl says, uh, I want to be a princess. Third little girl just shakes her head and says, all I want out of life, dad, is four animals. And the dad says, four animals? Little girl says, yeah, four animals. I want a mink on my shoulders. I want a jaguar in the garage. I want a tiger in the bed. And I'm going to need a jackass to pay for all that. <laughs> Linda, shame on you. <laughs> in our next video, we'll be visiting with Rusty78609. Thanks for watching, everyone.